previously on Avengers Infinity Wars. I told you, you'd die for that. You should have gone for the head. I don't feel so good. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. And now, the official trailer reaction of Captain Marvel. Hey YouTubers and YouTuberettes, this is Connor Arms CEO here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another trailer reaction and it's another Marvel trailer and it's the first official trailer of Captain Marvel. Now, just ahead of this point, uh, if you're hearing a really loud wind passing by my window, it's just that uh, we have a very uh, bad weather uh, this morning, a uh, puff of wind, uh, well, very loud wind, you can probably hear it now, and rain go down like crazy, and it was nearly difficult to take my son to school today. And then some, uh, and just so you know, I don't know much about Captain Marvel. Um, well, I think the first time I knew about this character was the original X-Men television series where Rogue stole her powers and that's how she was able to fly and have super strength and then she was haunted by her ghost or something. I think I think that's what the episode was, I don't remember. And then you got the video games, uh, Marvel, super, Marvel Super Heroes Unite or something, the, the sequel of that game. I, it's been a while because, I mean, I don't have a PlayStation 3 anymore. And also, uh, Super Hero Squad, you know, uh, that little TV show where they all look like Imagine X figures. Uh, my song got into that show and we watched it all the time. And uh, the song is pretty catchy. And there are some good episodes in there, like how awkward it was to hear uh, the Punisher. Instead of talking about punishment, he was talking about either the alphabet or uh, vegetables. Which was weird. Very weird. But uh, anyway, let's recap. Because uh, this movie was... Uh, based uh, the, from the uh, before the end of Avengers Infinity Wars when Thanos got the entire, the, the whole set of the Infinity Stones in the Infinity Gauntlet because they thought uh, destroying uh, Vision Stone would work but no, thanks uh, to the Time Stone he was able to get his hands on it. And then by the flick of his fingers uh, a lot of things changed. The most uh, upsetting scene where Spider-Man got faded away from existence uh, Drax got faded from existence, uh, Star-Lord got faded from existence, Doctor Strange got faded from existence, uh, Bucky, uh, Black Panther, even his closest uh, right-hand woman, and uh, Groot, and, uh, and Wanda. Basically half of people that you saw in that film just faded away from existence and then through the end of the tr uh, through the end of the credits the rolling credits you get to hear Nick Fury and Hell talking to each other and they're trying to get into contact with uh, some of the people that are still going and then there was car crashes plane crashes and then even regular people started faded away from existence and then Clinton Hell and then just as by Nick Fury was about to be faded away from existence he sends an emergency message to someone and then you see this weird looking beeper and then when the message got sent it showed the symbol of Captain Marvel and that means that movie was coming up first and then hopefully she would be the key element to help the remaining Avengers to take down Thanos and uh, get rid of the Infinity Stones for good so hopefully that'll be the finishing chapter after 10 years of uh, the Marvel experience, all thanks to Robert Downey Jr. when he first appeared as Tony Stark in the first Iron Man movie. So hopefully we'll get to see that sooner or later. But now we're here to react to the first official trailer of Captain Marvel. So let's sit back and relax and see how it goes. And also 
forgive me for the hat. It's just I'm a little self-conscious today because my hair is all over the place. And uh, whenever I brush it, there are some parts of my hair that doesn't stay down. So that's why I'm wearing the hat so I wouldn't look stupid. Which, of course, by some people's opinions when they watch this video, uh, I'm pretty sure they think I do look stupid. To be honest, I look like I'm having a middle age crisis. But anyway, let's sit back and relax and see how it goes. Ouch. What, is she landing in Starbucks? Wow, she was that desperate to rent a video? <laughs> War is a universal language. Why is her uniform not the uniform we all know? I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. She was part of shield? Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up until I miss you today. <laughs> oh, whoa, Nick has two eyes. It's hard to explain. And he has hair. Whoa, is that what I think it was? Is she just punching old lady? I'm not what you think I am. Oh, there's the colors. Whoa. Well, I have to say, I did enjoy that trailer. It did look really good. It was awesome. And I especially love the bit where she crashed in the blockbusters. It's kind of like uh, she couldn't wait until opening time, so I'm just going to sneak in and rent the video and then pay double when I return it, but, <laughs> but she had to crash to the roof. And what was the deal punching that old lady? And did I see what I thought I saw? Um, the dudes in the purple suits and the green faces, because I've... I, I remember them, I've seen them in uh, Superhero Squad, and I know they uh, took the Fantastic Four's powers, where one one of them bear the powers of the Fantastic Four thing, Human Torch, Invisible Woman, and Mr. Fantastic. Uh, Skull Squall or something. It's been a while since I remember this character, because I mean, I did see him in the cartoons and uh, the TV shows and uh, the, the, the books, but I don't know much about the character. But uh, And it was quite strange seeing... Nick Fury with two eyes and hair and Coulson is in the bloody movie full Coulson and he looked like he hadn't changed a bit unless you know about his painful flashback that uh, he keeps being being brought back from the dead and having his memory wiped in Marvel's Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. which of course was quite disturbing but other than that she looks like she's going to nail being Captain Marvel because I've seen her before along with uh, Tom Riddleston. I think I said his name because I butcher names. I never speak out. Uh, he was, She did a movie with him along with Samuel Jackson and John Goodman, the former Fred Flintstone of the Flintstones movie, where they went to an island and they met King Kong. Yes, Kong Skull Island. And now, well, in that movie she had brown hair and in this movie she has blonde hair. And by the looks of things, when I saw in the trailer, she was saying she had fe she had a feeling that uh, she's been on Earth before, before she became Captain Marvel. And now I get to understand why she was wearing uh, black and green instead of the original red, blue and yellow. Uh, by the looks of things, she was a fighter pilot or she was doing military training, probably with uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. by the looks of things. And... Uh, she crashes on Earth, uh, she sees a lot of things changed, and I think it might have something to do with that beeper call she got in the end credits of uh, Avengers to Infinity War. And of course, none of that would have happened if uh, typical um, ego um, 
feeding Tony Stark would have listened to the, the Doctor Strange. No, we need to keep the Time Stone away from Thanos. No, we should take the, the fight to Thanos. And look what happened. You caused a 15-year-old boy to die. Which were, which were an idiot the first time. Of course, uh, when you recruit somebody and give them a cool, uh, up-to-date uh, gadgetry uh, suit, he will be doing his own thing. He's like, uh, uh, no, you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, this is uh, my job. This is not your job. This is my job. Uh, but no, uh, but uh, thanks to your so-called job, did you manage to stop the vulture? No, a 15-year-old dead. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't care what people say. That thing in Infinity Wars, that was Tony's fault. They could have kept the Infinity Stone away, but no, Tony had to say, no, let's bring the fight to him. Nobody ever thought of saying, no, we're sick and tired of listening to you. We're going to do things where we think is better because the way you do things, you get people killed. Like uh, some certain best friend you caused to be paralyzed from the waist down. That was your fault. And that business where everybody uh, been erased from existence, that's all you because you were listening to your ego. And uh, to be honest... I wish it was him that would faded away from existence because he's being a pain in the ass, not Robert Tony. Well, I'm pretty well. At least uh, in the Ultimate Avengers, he preferred to work alone. But uh, and also thanks to him, Ant Man and uh, Hawkeye are in house arrest. Oh, we have an Ant Man and a Spider Man. That was so weird hearing that from Bruce. And I can't believe Hulk was being such a sissy. He pra Thanos practically made him his bitch. I never thought Hulk would be scared of anybody. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the trailer. And I hope you enjoyed my reaction video. Be sure to subscribe down below. So uh, please stay tuned for other video reactions. I know I've d I said I was meant to do two more uh, requests of uh, YouTubers reactions. But I haven't got around to that yet. But hopefully I will sometime uh, today or maybe tomorrow. So until then, YouTubers and YouTuberettes, I'm Connor RM CEO. Thank you, and over now.